Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to my lab. My name is Gibi Suku. I'm an IT professional. I work in the field of cybersecurity and I always have the pleasure to bring you in my lab and show you the things I do here. What I have with me is a 40 switch 524D FPOE. This is a switch I've been playing with in my lab for a while. I was about to return it and I thought of making a video for you. And if you look here on the table, I have a couple of cables and uh, transceivers. We're going to talk a little bit about this, specifically about this breakout cable. This is a cable that I didn't know existed until I knew it existed because I had to use it for one of my customers that needed more 10 gigabit per second port. And I can show you how with a switch like this one that has two ports running at 40 gigabit per second, you can use a breakout cable to split the port into four 10 gigabit per second ports. So that's something that I want to share with you here. And I can show you in the configurations as well how you can do it. I have my 40 gate pulled up here. I'm going to show you uh, in that uh, uh, screen as well. But if you like what I do, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure you share the video as well to grow the channel. And if this is your first time, make sure you follow me on social media as well. I share a lot of things on TikTok, Facebook and Instagram. And what you see there are my website en.kbtrans.com is where I put my English training. And if you speak French, because I speak French as well, you can go on fr.kbtrans.com. That's where it's happening. I actually have a free course on cybersecurity available on my channel. You can go and check it out as well. Uh, beyond the CCNA, which is my main uh, training that I'm providing right now, the CCNA 200 301 is what helped me start my career. It may help you or help you boost your career as well. So this is my 40 gate. Before we get there, uh, let me show you what I have here. So if we look on the side, you can see that. And don't worry, I do have a flashlight. I know it's not well lit over here. I'm the only guy on YouTube who brings a flashlight in his lab and shows you everything. So make sure you give me some encouragement in the comments there. And if you have any questions or any reaction, leave it down there. So this is, these are the, the optical ports that we have here. So it's one, two, three, four. 10 gig ports and then one to 40 gig ports and what i want to show you is that beyond the 10 gig that you have here you can also use these 40 gig to create 10 gigs and that's what you um you use the breakout cable for and if we go i already did it on one of the ports the port number 29 here is the port 30 is still a 40 gig per second i'm going to show you how you can change that in the cli or in in your in your 40 gate or uh, 40 switch. If we go back to the 40 gate and we look at this uh, switch here, let's look at the port. You can see that down here we have the, let me zoom in. Yes, so when it comes to the port 29, we have 29.1, 29.2, three, and four. These are 10 gig ports. And if we go back to the, or we scroll down to the port 30, 30 is always, I mean, is still a single port. It's not split yet. And I'm going to show you how to do that. I'll, I also have access to the local administration of this device because I do have a cable connected to the management interface, this cable here. So if I come back on the device under switch physical port, you can scroll down and see that I already broke this out 29 broke it into 10 gigabit per second port and that's how it is so i'm going to show you how to do this from the cli or yeah let's get to the cli from the 40 gate so i can go here under uh manage 40 switches right click and connect to cli and here i'm inserting my password and i'm inside the device and um, let me do this so from here, the command to split the port is config switch physical mode or fee mode. Um, if I do show here, you can see that I only have one command. And this is the command that I put in to split the port 29. And if I do get, you can see that the port 29 is now running under 4x10 gig mode. And the port 30 is still under 1 by 40. That's how you define if you want to run 10 gig or 40 gig. So let's go ahead and configure the port number 30 to do the same. Actually, I'm going to 
also change the port number 29 to four uh, to one by 40. So I will do set port uh, 29. We can start here. Let's start with 29 and do one by 40. Enter and then set port 30 and do four by 10. And we'll finish with end. It's telling me that this is going to uh, remove all the configurations we had on our 10 gig ports and it's also going to reboot the system and I hit yes so the system is rebooting so while it's rebooting let's come back here and talk about these different cables and SFPs and stuff because I know me personally I never worked in a data center or really in any kind of a high density environment so some of these SFPs or QSFPs is my first time to see them so let me present them to you so what I have in hand here, this is what is called the QSFP. The QSFP is the type of module that can be, or transceivers, that can be used for, um, I think it started at 40 gigabit per second, 100 gig, and even more, 400, 800. We are talking QSFPs. And let me zoom in a little bit to show you more. This is a little different from a regular SFP or SFP Plus that we know. And I also noticed that my camera doesn't really focus on this okay yeah i think you can see it well enough so this is what runs 40 gig 100 gig and more and this is the cable that i can connect to it and like in my case here i'm able to connect it like this and then oh it's still not focused oh yeah i think it's good now and then use these 10 gig if i didn't have a need for 10 gig i can just connect this cable on this side and then bring the other side to another QSFP plus. Actually, for 40, it's plus. I'm going to show you that uh, very soon. So I can connect it to another uh, transceiver like this to either stack two or stack up two switches, or if I want to connect it to another network interface cable on the server that is running 40 gig, for example, I can do that. But in my case, or sometime you may need to get 10 gig. That's when you can use the split port and use this breakout cable. To, to do that. So this is for 40 gig. And here I have some SFPs and SFP pluses. SFP is for one gigabit per second and SFP plus is for um, 10 gigabit per second. And of course, in terms of medium on this side, you can either use fiber optics like here, I can use this LC connector to connect here and then I have a, a fully made patch cable that I can use between my, um, you know, my, my server and my switch or my different computers that I have in my environment. So what I just want to show you is that you can use fiber or sometimes you can have an SFP or SFP plus using copper. So this is an RJ45 connector, as you can see. So this goes with an STP or UTP cable. You connect it here and the other side you connect it to your computer or you connect it to your server or whatever you have going on. So um, when you run into, and I'm saying all of this because not all of us know this. So that my, on my channel, I go from zero to engineer. So it's always good to say or share all these little things that you may know, for example, but it's not uh, for everybody yet, at least. So yes, I want to show you the difference. And I also have something that I pulled from the internet that I can show you, just summarizing what I just said here. And uh, yeah, this is it. So we have, like I said, SFPs for one gig, SFP plus for 10 gig, and SFP 28 for 25 gigabit per second. And when it comes to QSFPs, Q stands for quad channel. So we have uh, QSFP plus for 40 gig, QSFP 28 for 100 gig and QSFP DD, we go beyond, we go, we're talking 400 and 800 here. So that's a, a little bit I had to share with you. Oh, and I have another quick cable that I want to show you. Let me see, it should be down here. So this here, this is called a direct attached cable. This is a DAC. It's also another type of cable, but here you already have your transceivers on each end, but they are connected to the cable itself. So you can detach them, they're already attached. This is another good cable that you can use depending on your environment. Um, if you have 
compatible devices, you can easily use this uh, DAC cable. But sometimes I've run into situations where, um, let's say I have a Fortinet, for example, Fortinet switch on one end, and I have a Cisco switch on another end, and you use a DAC cable. I don't know where you got it. It might be from either of the, of the vendors, and sometimes it's not compatible on both sides. So in that situation, what you have to do is just to buy uh, certified or compatible SFP or SFP pluses. You put the Fortinet compatible on the Fortinet side, the uh, Cisco compatible on the Cisco side, and then you use um, a fiber uh, cable here, either single mode or multi mode cable, to connect the two sides, and it should work just fine. As long as the transceiver is supported, it should be able to work because the light that goes through is literally the same for everybody. So they should be able to decode it. All right, let's go back to our 40 gate and see if it's uh, if the switch is back online. I'm going to close this and refresh the page. It's online and if I go under ports, now we can see that 29 is now a single port. Let me zoom in. So 29 is now a single port running at 40 gigabit per second and 30 is the one that is being splitted into 4 10 gigabit per second. That's what I wanted to share with you. If you like what I do, please make sure you like the video and you share it with your community. And if you have any questions or comment, leave it down in the comment. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye.